surprise move. The Chicago River was dyed green early this morning in recognition of St. Patrick's Day. The event was kept hush hush, likely to prevent large crowds from gathering on the riverfront while coronavirus restrictions are in place. That tradition dates back to 1962 and is handled by the Plumbers Union Local 130. And Chicago's annual St. Patrick's Day parade stepped off after being canceled last year because of the pandemic. While some participants gathered in person, the parade was live streamed to discourage large in-person crowds. The holiday weekend combined with beautiful weather drawing people out of their homes. Nate Rogers is in Wicker Park tonight with more on those revelers in search of a socially distant green beer. Nate. That's right, Natalie. I tell you, since early this afternoon, whether downtown or here up north, we've seen, seen long lines of people waiting to get into bars and restaurant talks. We've talked to most, multiple people who said they've had at least one or two of their shots. Chicagoans say they're ready to have a good time come St. Patrick's Day. Be honest, this is a lot of people. This is a lot of people. They're gathered mm -hmm. on the bridge. It's a lot of people on Michigan Avenue. Downtown along Michigan Avenue, bustling with thousands of people. The warm temps and surprise dying of the Chicago River had hundreds snapping selfies and enjoying the great green sight. Especially since we missed last year, it feels great to be out here. The party continued along Milwaukee Avenue right outside of Pint Bar. Chicago garter, pipes and drums setting the tone. Friends dressed in green enjoying a beer and great vibes. Great vibes, great weather, you know, great company. It's been a great day. You know, I'm wearing my mask. I'm doing my part with the COVID, but I like to see people and be around people and feel the energy. Inside Pint, extra security was on hand to ensure customers follow the rules under current mitigations. No congregating, no dancing, and and face masks required went away from the table. People are just trying to get out and have put a smile on their face. It's been, a, like I say, it's been a tough year and this is the greatest city in the world. Over the next several days, investigators will be out ensuring local bars and restaurants operate at 50% capacity. Even with more people becoming vaccinated, officials still urge residents to avoid large groups. Honestly, I think it's the perfect amount of crowded, you know, not too many people, but just enough to keep the energy going. That's right. Um, and Mayor Lightfoot says even with that surprise dying of the Chicago River, if you happen to go downtown, be sure to wear your mask and stay six feet apart. We're live in Wicker Park. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 News.